Hello artists, today we're going to work on something called glazing. Glazing is where we take these special materials, they're called glazes, and we brush them onto your clay. Then later, when you're finished, I will fire your clay, and the stuff that we brush on your project is going to melt in the heat and it becomes a glass-like coating on your project. It'll seal the whole thing up, and the whole thing will be all shiny and wonderful. Glaze is not paint, so it has some slightly different rules. We use a brush, just like you do with paint. That's about where the similarities end. So what you see here are a whole bunch of glazes, and I have written down the name of every glaze right beside it. All of these colors change when they get hot. So for example, this color looks like a brick color. When it gets hot, it becomes this color right here that's kind of a light brown. Or this one, it looks pink. It's not pink, it says clear. The clear is what is all over this piece of clay. It's see-through, that's exactly what it is. So do not use clear expecting things to turn white because they will not. So it's really important that you read the name of the color before you use it. So there's about three here that look pink and only one really is, okay? And I will keep this available at my desk so you can come up and see what things look like after they are fired. Also, when glazing, you cannot glaze the part that touches the table. That's a big no-no. Because -no. as I mentioned, these melt. So you put something here that's going to melt it's not going to be good for your project. It'll end up getting stuck to part of my shelf. So nothing goes on the part that touches the table. We can glaze everything else. And your brush should be dry when it goes in the glaze. Okay. So my brush is dry. Yes, these are kind of thick. Might need to stir it a little bit when you get started. We brush it on. You want to try to be careful when you do it. So if you accidentally make a whoops, you can't just paint over that whoops. The color will still show up after it's fired. It'll come back. It's like a ghost. And if the brush hair comes out, we don't need to worry about it. My kiln gets so hot that the brush hair will burn right off. So I'm putting one color on the inside, then scrub a dub dub really, really well. Make sure you're being gentle so we don't splash everywhere. And then dry on SpongeBob. Remember, a SpongeBob is changing colors and your brush is not clean. And pick your next color. It's best to do the big things first and the teeny tiny things last. That's your best plan. I think I'm going to make this bird so it's bright red. So I'm going to stir up the red. It's a little thick there. And try to brush the red on carefully. If you have areas like this that are hard to brush, you can gently, gently poke them and then the glaze will fill in those white spots. Now, by my eyes, I'm going to be careful. If you want your eyes to be black, no big deal. We just brush your main color over them and then we put black on top. If you want your eyes to be a different color, you're gonna to have to be super careful and paint around where they are. Cause you can't just put one color on top of the other and expect it to look good. When I get down here to the bottom, I'm gonna remember what part touches the table. Make sure I don't glaze that part. If you accidentally do, I will check it and I will wipe it off before it goes in the kiln. It's the same thing with your tail. I know part of my tail touches the table, so I'm going to make sure I don't glaze that part. Now that my body is all glazed and I left this alone, I left that part alone because I know that touches the table, you might want to switch to a tinier brush for your other details. So for my beak, I'm going to use the yellow-orange. 
I'm using a tiny brush. And I'm starting by the beak and brushing away. Now I'll use black for my eyes. And as I said, black is a color that you can paint over other colors and it'll still work out for you. Just make sure your brush is dry when it goes in those glazes. And if I want to put a little black on my wing, and now I'm done glazing. And this little bird's going to go in the kiln and get really hot. And the next time you see it, it's going to look very different. 